Hello and welcome everybody, welcome to another Dragon Ball Abridge. Today I am early. I don't have a watch, but I am early, so I don't, I'm not in a hurry. This is gonna be like chill. I'm gonna talk more, uh, maybe laugh more. I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, if you are ready, like, subscribe, do whatever you can to help me out. And here it comes, the next episode of Abridge. GT, all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, Small. and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Over the last 13 hours, more than two dozen evacuation orders have been issued all over the globe. Thousands upon millions head for the countryside, including the endangered Saskatoon T-Rexes, while others seek shelter. The world has never seen terror as real as it has today. You're kidding me. Yeah, right? Dinosaurs are still a thing. It's odd how we never talk about it. At least not since we drove them out of the cities. I'm talking about terror! Never seen my ass, my dad released every murderer out onto the streets and overthrew the world government! Oh, right. And the king of the world is a blue cairn terrier. It's bullshit! I think it's pretty progressive. <laughs> it's Aw, look bullshit. at the poor Namekian lost and forgotten to time. Even the attack of the Saiyans five years ago hails in comparison to this overwhelming threat, as if comparing our cataclysm to a rampaging toddler. Bullshit! We turned an entire city into a glass floor! Aw, look at the poor Saiyan lost and forgotten to time. <laughs> Watch it, Namekian, unless you want to go right now. And I think we both know how our last fight went. And I think... I think we don't, because we've never fought. I... wait, you, really? But then how did you... Your dumbass friend. Right! Wow, we've never actually fought. That's so weird. Isn't that weird, black man? Yeah, almost as weird as what's gonna happen if you call me that again. What is he? <laughs> <laughs> Alright now, Gohan. When you get out there, try not to brag. About what? That's it, son. Don't let slip just how much stronger we are. Otherwise, Vegeta will be all, Oh, but my pride, girl, I wish I were a carrot! That's not inaccurate. <laughs> Piccolo will probably just growl and grumble. <laughs> really, it's too bad we're out of Namekians for him to absorb. Bet he'd be as strong as Vegeta. Speaking of, did you know we've never fought? Crazy, right? Oh, hey guys, what I miss? Mock my pride! Huh, what I tell ya? He's like a sea insane. I'ma kill him! So was there enough food in there? Mm. Did you get stronger? Mm -hmm. Stronger than Cell? Mm. For the love of Swallow, now! I'm not pooping tonight. Are you stronger than Cell? I'ma need my threads first. Yo, Mr. P, hit me up. Bitch, you're lucky you're endearing. <laughs> Mr. Another P. reason I want to kill Son Goku? He is so orange. It's like, come on, there are other colors. Am I right? So we'll have to machine the skull ourselves. Another reason to kill Son Goku, you ask? His stupid face. Have you seen it? Yep. That's a face even a mother could kill. Now, luckily, Dad has enough synthetic skin to patch that area. Another reason to kill Son Goku is- Hey, so how about we talk about something else? Very well. What is your favorite type of bird? Oh, um, penguins? Wrong! Ah, good old orange. <laughs> really brings out my stupid face. I had them washed for you. Aw, oh, man. Now they don't have that Goku smell. Hey, Gohan, we'll have your mom make you a new gi when we get home. You're probably too big for your old one now. I've got it covered. Uh, Mr. Piccolo, could you, uh... What, you want me to make you a gi like your dad's? Actually, I was hoping I could get one like yours. Oh, did our heart just skip a beat? That is precious. Shut the f*** up! Yeah, sure, I guess. Clothes me! Clothes <laughs> Wow, you know, that works on you. I mean, 
If you don't like orange... Quick rundown, doors are gonna be a little <laughs> difficult at first. I suggest a 45 degree angle. Also crowds, but I don't really deal with them. Look, I don't mean to be that guy. Oh, that's accidental. But there's a green cyborg elephant in the room. Goku, are you or are you not stronger than Cell? Good question. I'll go check. I'm sorry, go check what? Look, I understand that you sponsor all forms of sporting events, but just so we're clear, you do realize that everyone dies if I win, right? Yes? Yeah, I guess it is a win-win for you, isn't it? All right then, it's officially the Cell Games presented by Hita. I kill for a Hita. Oh, Jesus! No, actually, it's Goku. Need to put a bell on you. Huh? Nothing? Sorry, I just wasn't expecting you for another week. <laughs> Must look a mess. I just got done finishing the ring, patching a hole. Speaking of which, what do you think of our glorious battleground? <laughs> eh, it's all right. Kind of small, isn't it? I prefer intimate. Well, I'm not intimidated either. Oh, but you should be, <laughs> because in it, we shall decide the fate of not only this boring blue ball of dirt and water, but the entire galaxy. So you best bring your A-game, Son Goku, because the stakes have never been higher. <laughs> <laughs> and before you say it, the price isn't actually stake. I wasn't thinking that. Yes, you were. Then what is the price, you monster? Living. Also a lifetime supply of heat app. You know, they say lifetime, but they never consider the Dragon Balls. Anyway, I just came to measure you up. And I gotta say, nice. Maybe you know it. I've seen all I need. Now, I'm up to go and have a high fiber dinner. See you in a week. It's a date. Yeah, I know. That's how days work. I'm gonna miss him when he's dead. So the androids <laughs> took my arm? Yeah, you lost it saving my life. Well, did it at least look cool? Oh man, it was the coolest! You were always the first to jump in a battle, and you never backed down, and you saved my life so many times! I died, didn't I? Brutally. Wow, okay, yeah, he's pretty strong. Also really handsome. Like, why did none of you warn me he would be so handsome? But is he stronger than you? If he's as strong as he is handsome, then oh boy. I mean, I'd never cheat on Chi-Chi, but... Dad, so handsome. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I'm gonna take my turn inside the chamber. Hey, maybe after you're done, you and Jeets can finally have a go. Go easy on him, best buddy. You know, I was stronger than you yesterday. Yeah, but that was a year ago. We've all grown. Like Gohan. Just look at him. All Super and Saiyan? About that. You've been Super Saiyan since you came out. What's up with that? Well, after extended exposure and focus, our bodies acclimated to the elevated state. We can sustain it without literally any loss in stamina. What? Yeah, huh? Also, we kind of forgot how to turn it off. <laughs> Truthfully, it's very concerning. Yeah, for a cell. And, uh... Also, yours. What did you do? See you at the Cell Games, presented by Retail! That hollow skull bastard, now I'm angry and thirsty! Boy! Huh? We're going back in the chamber and fixing this immediately. Yeah, Piccolo just went in. What? Then what the hell am I supposed to do for 24 hours? Hang out with you two idiots? Fine, your literal humanity disgusts me anyway. Guess it's just you and me now, black man. See, I told you it would happen. Twas never a matter of if, only when. Crazy, so you're both like a year older now, huh? Yeah, uh huh? Which means he's Teen Gohan now. Actually, I'm 11, so that means I'm a. That means you need a birthday party! Ooh, can it be Super Saiyan themed? <gasps> With little spiky pieces of yellow frosting? That sounds amazing! Chi Chi, Super Saiyan cake me! Goku? Yeah? Did you take our son into a magical reality outside of space time for an entire year? Bleach his hair without my consent and suddenly come back home demanding birthday cake? If it makes you feel any better, it's not bleach. It doesn't. Are you upset? No, because I know how you're going to pay me back. Mom, what do you mean? Krillin, would you take Gohan out for a few hours? Gohan, we're going to Kame House. Wait, what does she mean? 
guys? He said one week. And I'm using it. What are you? Nice, nice. Okay, so some extra scenes. You can materialize clothing from your very being. You wouldn't have to spend anything on supplies, manufacturing. I am focusing on training. You should be focusing on what you're going to do after Cell is defeated. Fine, but what would we even call this hypothetical clothing line of ours? Big Green Threads. We might need to workshop that. I think it has a perfect ring to it. Yeah, well, you're big and green. You have a bias. Wait, are we hallucinating? How long have we been in here? Three days. I'm out. I call dibs! <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Lanny Vitor, co-writer and co-star of DBZA, and I wanted to thank you for watching. Yeah, and I want to thank you for watching too. One moment. Okay. <clears throat> really good episode. I'm really happy how it... It was really fun. It's... If you made it to this point, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining as always. Be safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to be happy. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever it is necessary to do, do it. And <clears throat> oh my God, my throat is running away. Don't forget to be happy. Uh, be safe, stay healthy. Uh, go to the gym. And don't forget that it's never too late to do the right thing. So subscribe to my channel. <laughs> See you tomorrow on the next one. Bye.